Indonesia is taking steps to stabilize the rupiah, one of Asia's worst performing currencies. It is banning the use of foreign currencies like the U.S. dollar for local transactions. But as Andy Supatra reports, some say the move may do more harm than good. About 20 percent of office towers in Jakarta charge their tenants rent in dollars and around 10 percent of domestic transactions are conducted in dollars to the tune of six billion US dollars every month. But now with the dollar experiencing what many observers believe may be its third super cycle rally in 30 years, it is weakening other currencies in the process and especially the rupiah. To quell this, Indonesia has introduced a ban on using U.S. dollars for all local transactions, with a few exceptions. That way, fundamentally, from the economic way of thinking, it's clear that if the demand increase, then it will strengthen the rupiah, at least to some extent. The ban will cover all transactions from hotel accommodation payments to flights and rental fees. Anyone found violating the law will be sentenced to a year in prison or a fine of 15,000 U.S. dollars. This ban has also left many of the companies that has contracts in U.S. dollars in limbo, including Garuda Indonesia, the national carrier airline for the country. For U.S. dollars, uh, we have to pay uh, for maintenance, for aircraft fuel, and then for uh, lesser yeah, around 60% uh, uh, and then for 4% uh, in rupiah. But our uh, revenue in US dollar in rupiah are 50-50. Analyst warns that this could effectively put the companies hostage to the volatile rupiah. Some of the business people, because they already uh, have a contract yeah, in uh, foreign currency and their fundamental business require foreign currency, then they complain because if they are required to do that, then the cost for their business will be very significant, even can stop the business. While the benefits of using local currencies in the country is obvious, Indonesia will now have to maneuver through this transitional period to ensure that there will be no unnecessary inflation caused by the vendors trying to guard against the exchange rate fluctuations. And that will be a true test for the country's economy. Andy Sibutra, CCTV, Jakarta.